The first video all proud parents take. Here's baby Dearman and his brother Yeet. Born in Turkey in June 2018, rare conjoined twins, rarer still to be joined at the head, even more rare that they are boys. Their parents, Omar and Fatima Evrensel, told that to do nothing would shorten their lives, to separate them would mean one would die, a judgment of Solomon no father or mother should have to make. Derman, sakin olan, Yiğit, biraz daha aktif, hareketli. Bir, iki. Yiğit means brave, and Derman means cure. I think anybody uh, who sees these kids, and in fact the family and the predicament that they're in, um, it would be impossible not to be moved by it and to feel that if there is a cure, if there is something that can be done, then it should be done. And then hope was held out in the form of Owais Jilani from Great Ormond Street Hospital in London. With a lot of conjoined kids, one of the hearts and the kidneys take on an extra load and gradually over time, because they're having to work more than their fair share, they may fail. So leaving them in a conjoined state may not be a long-term solution in any case. Mr. Jilani and his colleague David Dunaway had already set up the charity Gemini Untwinned to bring conjoined twins to London from around the world to try and save them. And two donors, Senor Barton and Murtaza Lakani, donated 1.5 million for this complex surgery. Okay, Channel 4 News had exclusive access to the more than 40 hours of operations. The first one was to insert skin expanders to give them extra skin to close their heads after the separation. At 18 months old and they want to play like all little boys. But here you can see their heads taking on a different shape already as the expansion begins to work. Bu Yiğit. Şimdi Yiğit'i de Derman'a gösterdi. Okay. Ay, bak. Derman, bu kim? Yiğit. This is a story not just of bravery, but of unimaginable skill and technology. The team from Great Ormond Street are world renowned, yet they are still learning as they go. So, what you're looking at is the Craniopagus, the conjoined twins, the two skulls joined up together. So on the bottom you've got twin one, or Durman, and the way we can tell is his right hemisphere comes right up into the cranial cavity of twin two, which is Yeet up here. So that's Durman's right hemisphere. And if I turn that around for you, you'll be able to see Yeet's brain and Yeet is upside down at the moment. So today we're going to start here and cut these blood vessels cutting across this sinus, yeah. that part of the sinus will remain with um, yeet, yeet yeah. and this part of the sinus, sinus. will come, come to Durban. At the end of the day today, if we are able to achieve division from roughly this point to this point, so this half of it, if it's divided and the kids do well, then that will be a successful day. The superficial veins that we saw, we've taken them, but we're finding more so what we've done here, Dave, this is the right hemisphere of Derman. And as we had planned, we're dividing all the vessels going from this over to his twin. And we've managed to do probably half of what we wanted to do today. So now the area where the dura is missing and the two brains are touching each other, we're going to try and look at that and free that up. What's happening here? I think should we give ourselves, as we say, till 9 o'clock, as we've said, and then at 9 o'clock we...
After 14 hours, they thought it was safer to stop. The team was exhausted. Okay, team, we're going to start closing. So there's a strip of brain in the middle that's still linking the two kids. So probably all in all, it's the right thing to do is to stop, let the kids recover from this, and then do more next time. We've made nearly all of the incision, so I think our incision today, we're going to take these staples out of here and here and open up the old incision, and then we're going to just make an incision that runs in the hairline here to complete the circumferential incision. So we'll have a, an S-shaped uh, uh, line that goes all the way around both heads. Uh, then we'll be able to lift up this skin flap and take it that way, and then there's a flap here which will come down that way. I think that will give really good access for the surgery. Okay, okay. so stay there. Just put your hand here. Just hold that brain in. It's trying to fall out. We've disconnected the right frontal lobe. And uh, it still looks all right. Okay, so let's just see where we are. clearly. So we're literally just doing a millimeter at a time. This vein belongs to Dermot. Clamp is on, time the clamp. We've had a Moses moment, David. Sorry? We've had a Moses moment. The Red, what has sea, happened? Has, the oh, red sea has parted. The Red parted. Sea has parted. The Red Sea has parted. We've made really good progress. We've now reached a stage where near all of the outside veins have been divided. So that's all of the major blood flow between the twins has now been separated. And what's really good to see is that both of the twins are fit and healthy. Neither of the brains have swollen. The plan now will be just a little bit more separation and then we're going to put all of the bones back together, put the tissue expanders back in and close the skin. So having gone round numerous times and spent however many hours now, 20 plus hours, we finally got to a point where when the retractor went in and we were lifting one of the brains, it, it almost parted from the other brain completely. It was almost like a ray of light. When the two brains parted, you could see clearly between them. That, that felt great. We only have a little bit of brain interface to do, and then that's them divided. So the big task next week is going to reconstruct them, to put them together in a, in a safe and aesthetically pleasing fashion. It is only six months since Mr. Gilani gave this family some hope that the boys could be separated. And they are so close now. When we finally separate the twins, that is when they become two individual people. It's impossible to describe that moment of separation. It's an incredibly emotional moment. It is difficult at times. It is. I often refer to. Um, uh, conjoined twins, the last set and this set is triplets now. It's, you know, they go through wobbles and the surgeons go through the wobbles as well. So if, you know, if they're unsettled on the intensive care, you may be in the hospital, you may be at home and you're sort of feeling quite jittery and unsettled and if they stabilize you, so it becomes your entire life for the period that you're looking after them, um, which can be difficult. Do I dream about it? Yes. I. I... I, I do dream about it. Uh, you think you dream about different scenarios. Well, dreams are funny things, aren't they? And uh, you think about all kinds of things. Uh, so one or two dreams have kind of raised, you know, problems that I haven't thought about, and I sort of woken up and thought, 
oh gosh, well I haven't thought about how to deal with that. And then you sort of go away and we've been looking at the 3D modelling about to look at all these little kinds of problems. Because it's the tiny detail that trips you up. Okay, just a bit of brain tissue, I just don't know how important it is, but there is, we, uh, we've gone all the way around it, so. Okay team, record the time, we're done, we're separated. Everything is separate, they're completely yeah, yeah, yeah. separate. Yeah. Yeah, they're two separate kids. So very gently, count of three, one, two and three. We have to move him, we have to move him. Supine. Gently, gently, supine. Yeah, go supine all the way. Oh, cute little fella. Cute little fella. Team, well done. Well done. Fantastic. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a great feeling. It's gone really well as planned. Um, the tongue of brain tissue that was still connected, we managed to divide that without a problem. And it took, uh, as we expected, about two hours just to do that bit. Now the reconstruction starts, so that's the big challenge, which will uh, take most of the afternoon and evening. But uh, they're separate kids, and they're doing well, so we're happy. And this is all the bone that we took off from the sides of the head. It's been split into two halves, and so that's all the bone we have. It's quite a lot of bone. So I'm just trying to decide which half we keep. Maybe this half. Okay, I think that makes sense yeah. like that. Agree? I think so. Nice. Yeah. Okay, shall I just provide a very broad hand for you? Press on the brain more, Curtis. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that would be dreadful to leave a piece of some elastic in there. Okay. Nice. Oh, perfect. Yeah, thank you. He looks naughty. Doesn't he? Look at him. He's got that naughty look. Today was very, very good. God bless you. Thank you very much. I love you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It has taken seven weeks from the first operation to this moment. A team of more than a hundred in the surgery at the bedside. Perfect example of teamwork where you know, everybody does their bit. Hayatımın en unutulmaz anı. Ama ben oraya nasıl gidiyorum biliyorum. Sanki bulutların üstündeyim. Hem heyecanlı, hem duygusal değişik bir duygu ya. Çok farklı. And now the recovery begins. Gelecekte güzel şeyler olacak. Yani çok şükür çocuklar sağlığına kavuştu. Eskiden niyet çok hareketliydi. Derman aşırı sakindi. Şimdi ameliyattan sonra tam tersi oldu. Yiğit sakinleşti, derman daha hareketli oldu. Şeyleri değişti, huyları değişti. And of course for the boys, after the first 18 months of their lives being head to head, they can now face each other, look into each other's eyes. Ne vermem? Ama. Hayır. Tamam, bak. Ah. 
Biz de bunu sürelim. It is too early to tell how Derman and Yeet will cope. The doctors have warned there are physical challenges ahead. Ne yaptın oraya? But they hope the boys will go on to lead a normal life. Bakayım, 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 bakayım.